Gravitech is pleased to announce the anticipated arrival of GraviStyle 8 engraving software. GraviStyle 8 is the latest version of the most powerful engraving software on the market. In this webinar, we will focus on the enhancements from GraviStyle 7 to GraviStyle 8. If you're still running a system like GraviStyle 98, there are a ton of new features that we won't be discussing today. However, your local representative will be able to fully discuss all of the improvements that come with GraviStyle 8. Along with GraviStyle 8, LaserStyle has been updated with all new features. We now offer a laser cam to produce optimized vector engraving paths, as well as many other new features. So let's get started with the five key points or improvements to the new GraviStyle 8 software. We'll talk more in detail about the new interface to work with GraviStyle 8, the new matrix, the now even easier licensing system, the laser cam, and the powerful 3D laser feature. The new interface has a fresh new look. It's easier to use and can be customized to your exact needs. So let's look at the Gravistyle 8 interface to the right. As you can see here, Gravistyle 8 has a cleaner and much more modern and professional look. It has a larger composition area to work with. No more icons spread out everywhere like Gravistyle 7. Gravistyle 8 gives you the icons you need when you need them. It's now more simple to use, and the tools and icons are designed to be used in the chronological order of the job composition. Gravistyle 7 had the tools and icons at the top, on the sides, on the bottom, all over the place. Because of this, you're used to using the older versions of Gravistyle, we recommend signing up for more in-depth training with our technical support. This would help you become more acclimated to finding the new location of the functions and quickly becoming an advanced user. Let's now move to the actual software to take a look at the new interface. On the top of the composition work area is the quick access toolbar. You can customize your quick access icons to the ones you use most often. I'm currently showing the text tool. You can also add geometrical shapes, insertion tools, surface tools, and much more. You have your main tools and functions such as new file, open file, save, redo, undo, and all of the zoom tools. This is another example of where we listen to our customers. We changed and added all of the options for the zoom functions in a quick and easy to use area. We also have the material definition icon to define the size, material, and machine to be used, the select mode icon, text mode, geometrical shapes, point mode, grouping, ungrouping, refresh or redraw, and the color matching icons. The quick access icons are always available. Using the icons we just showed, you can actually create about 60% of your composition work. Before we move on, I want to show you how easy it is to learn what each icon does. Simply hover over the icon, wait for the window to appear, and click the question mark. As soon as you click the question mark, a Gravistyle help window opens and you can see all the functionalities of that particular tool. Now let's look at the tab and ribbon icon and tools. The ribbon icons change depending on the tab selected, like you normally see in Microsoft programs. So in Gravistyle there are two types of tabs, environments and tools. The tabs give you the ribbon icons and the tools to work with. Here we are selecting the Gravistyle Environments tab. See how the tab is highlighted green and on the bottom on the right side of the composition area you see the Gravistyle logo. This indicates the work environment that you are in. Now let's click on the Laser Style tab so we can get to the Cam Laser. If we select the Tools tab you see that we are still in the current Cam work environment but have a new set of ribbon icons and tools to use. You can see one of the many improvements here that you can change the design of the composition even in the CAM environment. If we select the Gravistyle Environments tab again, you can see how the ribbon icons flow. Material definition, text tools, and geometrical shapes. After creating your composition, you can modify it with alignment tools or measurement tools. Then you can even insert specific objects, such as inputs, drills, barcodes, or even batch imports. Let's look at the barcodes and data matrix codes. The codes have been updated with the latest bar or data matrix standard code types, even QR codes, and they all can be adjusted with variables. 
Another major change to GraphStyle 8 is that every function has an associated icon. Earlier versions had hidden functions, meaning you had to memorize the F1, F2, F9, etc. functions. Now you can just look at the appropriate icon for the function you need. If you're a seasoned user, you can still utilize this function, but we made it easier for the new user. And that about wraps up our quick overview of the new interface for GraphStyle 8. Now let's look at the second key point to GraphStyle 8 software, the new matrix. The new matrix is very easy to use and an extremely powerful tool. Now let's create a new matrix. Go to the objects bar and select multi-copy, which is also known as the matrix. Here's the new matrix window. Like the interface, it's cleaner, modern, more professional, and easier to understand. It's simpler to use and the icons are arranged logically in order of use. We have three lines of areas. The top line shows the working environment you're in. It shows the plate created, and the top right, the orientation icon. You can change the orientation icon by clicking on it. The great thing about the orientation icon is that it shows you the best optimized use of the space in order of movement. If it's white, you're optimizing your material for the most pieces. If it's red, this indicates that you are producing fewer pieces of the material. Newly standard, this feature will assist you in reducing your waste. Now let's go to the second line. The material section is the most important as it deals with the size of the material you are in. It has a nice drop down box with pre selected sizes of material for you to choose from full sheets, half sheets, quarter sheets, or an elemental shape. You can always manually adjust the size of the material you are using and save it to be used again later when you need it. Now let's look at the borders. The border section is large and clearly shows your borders. Gravistyle 7 used to have six different drawings to see and change your borders, but now with Gravistyle 8, you have everything here in one place and it's interactive for making changes. The first icon indicates if you want to cut or not, thus automatically adjusts margins. You can even select advanced to go deeper into the matrix for further adjustments if needed. Perfect for adjusting when using plates. You can enter the measurements for your plates, save them, and retrieve them in the drop-down menu to reuse over and over again. This function is a lot easier to use than GraphStyle 7 that required additional manual adjustments. Now to the presentation icon on the right. This shows the optimized engraving of plates and the optimized movement of the engraving. By clicking on it, you can see other options if you want to change it. Now let's look at the third line. In the Asked Plates section, you can enter the number of plates you wish to engrave. You don't have to enter a number as you can simply select and highlight the grid and select the plates you want to engrave. The Global section shows the material used and the plates to be made. You can also select and see the details for each plan included in the Global Summary. Here, you can manually change the plan for the engraving. Now we take the example of creating an electric band. First, we add a variable in our composition. Then we enter the serial number component of our variable. We enter into the matrix. We define the size of our material margins. Finally, in four simple clicks, we define the template of our two electric bands. These cells are organized automatically. We are ready to send the composition to the machine. So that was the matrix function uh, in GraphStyle 8. So let's switch back to our presentation. Now I want to talk about saving money and reducing waste. We all want to hear that, right? In today's world, we all want to reduce waste and the amount of garbage we produce. Another great thing about GraphStyle 8 is the matrix can do this and save you money at the same time. You can take all your remnant scrap pieces and use them. So let's take a look. Here we have a remnant piece of scrap. First get the measurements of the remnant piece. Open up the matrix and select a plan or plate area as we did here by selecting plan 1. Change the size based on the measurements and manually remove any leftover engraving plates. Now the composition area is set for the remnant piece. Submit your job and engrave.
the engraving job is done and you have just used a remnant piece of scrap and saved money with less waste. The third key point of change in Gravistyle 8 is our new license system. We still use a dongle to protect the software from hackers, but now the license levels can be automatically upgraded via an internet connection. If there is no internet connection, the user can update using a USB key and upgrade file sent to the user directly from Gravitech. We have now streamlined this process so you can quickly use your new software. The fourth key point of change in Gravistyle 8 is the new laser cam module. The cam module can be used on both gantry and gavel machines, perfect for deep engraving and marking. I see that we have a quick question. Um, how do I know if I have a gantry or gavel laser? That's a great question. A gantry laser allows the marking head to move along the X and Y axis and are usually contained in a class one enclosure. A galvo laser only moves on the Z axis and are used to integrate into production lines or in a laser top enclosure. So let's move on to our next slide. Here's a video to show you how the laser cam works in Gravistyle 8. We have a metal component we want to make a deep mark in with the serial number and logo. We'll fast forward through the composition setup. Once complete, we select the laser cam tab. Then we select a tool path and select a tool. The tools are organized by laser type, power, and focal, as you can see here. Adjust the color of the vector and the angle path. Refresh and create a second tool path and angle. Zoom in and now you can see the shape is filled with vectors to make deep engraving. All I have to do now is send it to the engraving machine. For this particular job, we used a 50 watt fiber laser. As you can see, deep engraving metal is very easy for this particular type. And that was the new laser cam in Gravistyle 8. So let's switch back to our presentation. The fifth key point of change in Gravistyle 8 is a 3D laser. With this new laser cam and deep engraving, we can produce 3D engravings. This opens up new markets such as mold creation, or now when customers ask for a 3D brand marketing products, you can make them. This tool is very powerful and impressive. On a side note, lasers are ideal for detailed mold engraving because they provide a finer point than rotary engravers. So let's watch a quick video about creating a 3D mold. Here is a 40 millimeter diameter brass metal we engraved at a depth of one millimeter. We start with 2D artwork. Select the Type Art tab to create a Type Art object. Then we're going to add 3D texturing and add what look like to be rays. Then adjust the branch logo and the number one. We will fast forward again, but here we are creating the toolpath and adjusting the parameters before setting the job to the machine. As you can see here, the laser has begun its passes for the 3D engraving. And lastly, the laser does a final lower power pass to clean up the surface of the metal. Now you have a beautiful 3D engraved metal in brass, perfect for creating a mold for mass production. Those were the five key points of the new Gravistyle 8. Now let's discuss your system's requirements. 
GraviStyle 8 has some new system compatibility requirements. It no longer works with Windows XP. We do, however, work with Windows Vista, 7, 8, 8.1, and 10.